What's up everybody, it's Mr. Camp aka Professor Tone and today we're going to talk about constructing a melody from scratch using some basic music theory knowledge and improvisation. So I have the uh, drum rhythm from the last episode uh, already loaded up here and I have a uh, basic piano noise to piano sound I should say to uh, do an experiment and sort of show you how to come up with basic scales how to figure out basic scales and uh, uh, some basic chords and then come up with a melodic idea based on those so this is some basic stuff you may or may not know. Um, the notes on the piano, this is C. So underneath the two black keys, this is C. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, C, C. This eight notes this is the same note in a different pitch. This is one octave. Octave like octagon meaning eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is a C major octave. Major means that um, basically, as far as how it sounds, major chords and scales usually sound more upbeat and happy. Whereas a minor chord sounds a little bit darker, a little bit more somber. So C major scale is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C minor scale is so it sounds a little bit different now a C major uh, 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 so that's the scale a triad uh, I'm sorry so that is the C major and minor scale one note at a time a chord is when multiple notes are pressed at the same time. So the most basic chord you can make is a triad, meaning there's three notes. So for C major, uh, the triad would be C, E, G. So that makes a C major triad. C, E, G. C, D, E, F, G. C, E, G. So you do one, skip two, three, skip four, five. That's one, three, five. C, E, G. So that's a basic triad chord. Now if you wanted to do one, three, five, seven, that's called a seventh chord. It's a little bit more jazzy. Now what's cool about a triad is you can just move that shape up and down. So you can just move that all over the place. Same with if it's a seventh chord. So it's really basic chord construction there that sounds really cool. Um, it's a little bit more complicated when you get into different kinds of, you know, um, bigger chords that have, you know, two hands. Um, and, you know, when you're doing more complicated jazz chords that have different mixes of notes in there and you have all sorts of different major, minor, augmented, diminished, you know, triads, seventh chords, ninth chords, thirteenth, thirteenth, and ninth and thirteenth meaning how many notes total are being played. Um, but basically, you can start with an idea, like let's stick around uh, C minor. So instead of playing it just in one, I'll stick to those notes. 
but I can do them out of order. So it's all that same scale with the exception of lifting C up to C sharp. So my idea is in that same scale, but I'm just moving the notes around. So. so rather than doing this a million times, So let's do that. Now what we want to do is we want to do it over the beat. So let's listen to where the beat was at. Draw those notes in, or you can record them. I'm not gonna go through drawing them all in. I'm gonna. You could, you know, you could do it the same way I did with the drums in the last lesson, which is finding your note. You gotta put this in um, keyboard mode. And you can see what the notes are here. But it's you can't really come up with a really good melody just by clicking the notes you have to play it first but if you have trouble playing it on time then you could draw in the notes but I would rather play it um, all myself without having to click it all in so you would find your notes and click them in one at a time here but I'm just gonna play them in so you'll see the MIDI notes go in as I play them so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do I'm going to go one time and then copy and paste that so it's perfect back to back when it loops. So that's one. I'm going to double it. For the last two notes, I'm going to go turn the velocity down a little bit. And now the next pattern is going to be the variation. Yeah. So then I'm going to do that same thing. So that basic group, double it. So let's see from the beginning. 
beginning. And then these last couple notes is gonna be delete this and so I gotta try to play it good. Play it well. show you is we have our basic melody and what we can do now is we can add a bass add a bass note to the melody to sort of um, accentuate it a little bit more so if we have this let's just solo this take that same bass note of C and do in the bass. So C. So now let's record this. instrument to this on top of it so let's see what else we can find
go ahead and record. melodic pattern is it's it has what's called an antecedent consequence which means a question and an answer so um, the first one is and then the response to that is So it goes A, B, A, B, yin, yang, yin, yang, and it keeps one pattern refreshes the following. So that's basically how you put a melody to a beat. I had the beat pre-made, uh, the drum beat, and what I did was I came up with the melody first without the beat and then played the beat and played, uh, played the melody on top of the beat and make it sync up and put some variations. Do one instrument, a second instrument in the same scale, and there you have it. Um, you can do that in many different ways, coming up with lots of different chords, and uh, you know, using the basic theory that I've taught you in this lesson, you know, just from doing triads. So I hope you can take it from there and make some music on your own. We'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.